Where's your master? In, in the paddock. Crucifix. What kind of beast could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses screaming. Must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them. And then my husband. When my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? <laughs> Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing, nothing that could drive a man to this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow the trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck, it's caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far and come back here when you're done.
Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask. I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No. I didn't see a thing. How could anyone be so cruel? See what they did here? Kill them! Find those whore sons and kill them! difficult but when I say talk I don't expect to be ignored no more no more leave me alone all of you may the Lord watch over you <coughs> Take care.
ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smil. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Go on. My husband went out to see what was going on. And then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarrel? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge, and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? Jakob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. I don't know of anyone else. Good luck, then. Another useless soldier come to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. What's wrong with your arm? That's nasty. It needs to be cleaned out and bandaged. Let me. Hmm. That feels a mite better. Thank you. What do you need to know? What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the other started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? How? You know the area. How can I figure out which way they went? Hmm. They left in a hurry. You could see if there's a fence knocked down, or a gate. Farewell. you say you were going to scout the area? This wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way.
deeper and deeper, for sure. Should I? Just do it quickly. I always do. You know me. Godspeed. Take long. It's a hoof pick. Someone in Neuhof must know more about it.
know whose hoof pick this is? Ginger's. He was always bragging about it. Why do you ask? I found it on one of the bandits in the woods. But he... Because of him? Because of him they murdered us? Lord in heaven! Wait, hold on. You think Ginger was responsible for the attack? He ran off! Don't you see? He was acting so strange and then he ran off! Why the hell would he do that? That does sound rather odd. And you don't know where Ginger could have gone? Dunno. Ask Yakko. Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah, it's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how he looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Where could he have fled to? Uh, I might know, but you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> you'll smell them before you see them. But, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. Farewell. Christ be praised. I've taken care of the camp. Where's the proof? Here it is. Pleased to hear it. I've had another report. Some folk were ambushed to the west of her time, on the hill across the river from the gallows. It would be worthwhile to check it out. Understood. Lord watch over you. I think Ginger is mixed up in it somehow. Hmm. Why do you say that? The hoof pick I found on the dead bandit in the woods is his. That is fucking suspicious. He acted suspiciously when I questioned him. What do you mean? Well... He was squirming and didn't really say anything. He might just have been in shock. He disappeared right after we found those bandits in the woods. And I think I know where he went. Where? To the charcoal burners. He has friends there. We've got to find him. But if his friends really are hiding him, I doubt they'll talk to my men. You should search for him, Henry. 
Go. Before the trail turns cold, I'll send a report to Ratai. Very well, sir. I'll be with you.